Hello there, gang. Welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behavior. This is the first episode in a post Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom world. What does the future hold? Well, we're going to find out over the next couple of years. In the meantime, though, there are a whole bunch of action figures that are going to come out. Do you want to hear about them? Here it goes. Now, this is real interesting. Came in from out of nowhere like an RKO. This company, which seems to be listed as different things. Uh, DB Toys X 6-inch. I don't know, but you can find these on 5K Toys. That's the important thing. That's the distributor you can go through. We're getting Ultimate Spider-Man 112th scale figures in cloth goods, Mezco style. Yeah, I, I, I love elements of these that I'm seeing. Apparently, they're going to be $75 each and available Q1 to Q2 of 2025. So a little bit of a wait, but you can pre-order them now. Like I said, on 5K Toys, they look real pretty. I don't like some of the stitching that I can see. Some of the seams look kind of, kind of big. It almost looks like a Frankenstein's monster Spider-Man. The stitches look like he's kind of literally stitched together. But it, I guess it depends on how it looks in hand. Maybe with the right kind of posing and angles, they don't show up so much. I think the symbiote costume, the black costume in particular, that looks gorgeous. I love that. Maybe again, it's just the lighting, but it looks like a, a purpley kind of tone to it. Oof. Like I said, these just kind of came out of nowhere. But even though they're maybe a little flawed here and there, generally, I still really like what I see. In Marvel Legends news, first of all, the big one, for me at least, is that September 13th is when we are going to get the next Hasbro Marvel Legends Pulse Con. So, pepper your wallets, because if you were a little bit underwhelmed uh, by Comic-Con, which honestly I, I was, I was a bit underwhelmed, they're going to be revealing more stuff. And annoyingly, I think Dan Yim put out a tweet saying that they're going to be revealing stuff tomorrow. So already this video is going to be out of date by the time it goes live, probably. Can never keep up with the news. But September 13th, going to get Hasbro Pulse Con and hopefully a whole bunch of awesome reveals. While we're at it, though, they did show full pictures of their upcoming MCU Colossus. Just showing the way he's going to be packed and packaged. Looks real pretty. Going to make a lot of MCU collectors very happy. A little bit more news on the Marvel Legends Dragon Man and this whole mid-size figure initiative as well. There's an article on Marvelous News that collected some of what we know, so that was a very good source of information. I recommend going to check that out. But basically, it's like a HasLab in that you order it directly from Hasbro in advance, but there's no minimum order number and no tiers either. It's very much just, boom, this is it, order it and it will be coming. The only way it would not happen is like if literally just such a small number of people ordered it that Hasbro had to come forward and go like, look guys, it's it's not worth our while making this. I don't think that's even a credible possibility. People are going to want to go for this unless they charge something ridiculous. Because just like a HasLab, it totally relies on the fear of FOMO. That was a very big point that they did kind of put out was that you have your pre-order window and then that's it. You ain't, you ain't gonna get another shot at it. So definitely you're gonna have to jump in there when you get the chance. No word on when pre-orders are going to open. Marvelous News is spitballing maybe September, but they said themselves. That's just a guess on their part. And also, no idea about price. For me personally, looking at this, I'm thinking about a hundred bucks. Because you look at similar products from other companies, other foreign um, you know, manufacturers and whatnot, you get the, the big scale figures coming from China and other, and other places, and it normally works out as that kind of price point for a big, hefty figure like this. And I think people are going to pay it. If it's anything considerably north of 100, then I think folks might step back and be like, well, okay, I don't know about this. For me, though, I'm kind of open to this. Dragon Man does nothing for me. But this mid-size figure idea, yeah, if you apply this to things like Apocalypse or Onslaught, or I know a lot of people like a Fin Fang Foom, that could work. This could be a new business model to, to go by. So even though I'm still not a big fan of the whole limited window pre-order thing, it ain't exactly having the customers come first, am I right? Hasbro, where the fans come first? Just saying. But if it means that we get some wicked, amazing, badass figures that we otherwise at regular retail might not have seen, I'm always open to it. Heck, you know me. I'm just a big sucker for Marvel Legends. 
Folks, with all these action figures coming out, it can be very difficult not only to keep track of what you own, but also what you pre-order, what you want, what is coming in, and what you might just randomly want to add to your collection. Don't worry though, because channel sponsor Legends Verse has got you covered. One of the best, no, actually I'll, I'll, I'll put my stake in the ground, the best website for correlating and cataloging and organizing your action figure collection. They got Marvel Legends, they got Select, they got McFarlane, and they've just added Star Wars Black Series as well. So if you've got a very funny mind like mine, that's gonna try and think of a nice word for it. No, it's just a bit funny. I love categorizing and logging things. I find it so satisfying. So to be able to do that with your full collection, oh, oh, it feels good. So then also you can divide your groups and your collection up into teams and you can label what figures you need, who you're waiting for. It's just a lot of fun to go through and play about with. And like I said, I discovered a new Ben Reilly sensational Spider-Man from way back in the early 2000s that I didn't know exist. Now I've got a new grail to search for. So go check out Legends Verse. It's free to dive on in, make a little ID and you can just go hog wild checking out all the action figures. So yeah. That's all I got to say. Go give the sponsor a follow, because honestly, they're doing really good work. NECA have shown off their Alien Romulus figure set. It's a bit more of a set than just a figure. I'm so pumped. I am so hyped for Alien Romulus. Just a little bit annoyed though. You know, it's something that, that just twists my tits a little bit. I always try to avoid trailers, but at Deadpool and Wolverine, they had an Alien Romulus trailer. I was like, well, I'm here now. Great. Now I know how three characters die. Exactly how they die as well. The, what are you doing? They literally showed you how three of the main characters die. So when they appear on screen, when I'm watching, I'll be like, all right, that one dies like that, that one dies like that, that one dies like that. And then in 20 minutes time when they do, I'm like, yep, saw that in the trailer. Sorry, that's a completely unrelated rant, but still, <sighs> it, it mashes my potatoes, man. It really does. What doesn't mash my potatoes, though, is, no, it, it does. Actually, no, I use mashes my potatoes as a, a good thing. I can't keep track of my own stupid nonsense phrases. This figure looks nice. That's what I'm trying to say. It should do. It's $80. That's a, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for a figure. But then again, you know, <laughs> in this crazy workaday world, what else are you going to spend your money on? You might as well buy some awesome action figures. And this definitely qualifies as that. Why am I speaking so quickly? Sorry, I got on a roll and I forgot to even take a breath. It's because I'm excited about Aliens, because it's been a long time. It's been a long time since we have had a good Alien movie. I got high hopes for Romulus. Hopefully it lives up to it. This figure, this design, this burnt alien they're calling it. Wah! Yes, I, I do love that the alien design is always refined and changed throughout the movies. This might be peak. This might be peak pinnacle alien. Looks wicked. Bring on the film. And as I'm looking here, I was going to say bring on the action figure. It's available for pre-order at the NECA store. I can't see when it's released, though. I'm sure it does say. But, you know, 42-year-old Dave just can't see it squinting without his spectacles. Nonetheless, though. Oh, there you go. Go see the new film. Oh, go see the new film in theaters August 16th. Well, I will, even though I feel like I've seen half of it already. Now, as you well know, if there's something weird and it don't look good, it's probably time to call Mondo because they have a contact number for the Ghostbusters. Not just any Ghostbusters, but the real Ghostbusters. That was always a fun story how they had to call it the real Ghostbusters because they didn't have the rights to the name the Ghostbusters because that was actually a completely different franchise back in the 80s. So we're getting a big heavy dose of classic 80s animated style Ghostbusters, 1 12th scale, the good lord scale. This is this is great. I, I I love I love you, Mondo. I love what you're doing. I mean, you've made those one six scale animated X Men. Maybe you might want to start thinking about making those in a smaller scale. Maybe you can't do. I don't know. Maybe that's like exclusive to Marvel Legends. I don't know. Why are we talking about X Men? We've got these gorgeous, gorgeous looking figures for the real Ghostbusters. And honestly, real Ghostbusters like that was a genuinely scary show. It, it, it was creepy. Well, not scary, but even as a kid, I was like, oh, this is like, they're, they're getting kind of dark. And I really appreciated that. So some of these designs, the, the Sam Hain, the crazy blue pointy nose guy, I forget his name, but they look awesome. I'm really excited to see more from these. 
SH Figure Arts are having another bite of the cherry. That's a big cherry. With their Across the Spider-Verse figures. They've already done 2099, Gwen, and Miles, but they're doing kind of reissues, new versions of these. So we've got an upside down Gwen with the ponytail going above her head. And the suit looks a bit more metallic, but that might just be the photo. And then with Miles, I can see he's got some different power effects, the electric crackle on his hands. Definitely ones that if you missed out on the initial offering, now you can get new ones. I don't think you need to double up, but then, hey, who am I to tell you what to spend your money on? Well, I'm an influencer, actually. This is what I do for a living! Well, <laughs> it's generous to call it a living. This is what I do for a hobby! As part of their Comic-Con reveals, Mezco showed off their MCU Deadpool. They haven't shown a Wolverine yet, but you can't help but think that's got to be on the horizon. I personally... Love my 616 Wolverine. I don't need the MCU ones, but I am a fan of Mezco just because of their style. I like what they do, so I'll be interested to see how these both come out. I say both. I'm I'm assuming there's going to be a Wolverine. In the, mean, in the meantime, though, we're definitely going to get Daredevil. Deadpool. I meant Deadpool. Did I say Daredevil at the start of this segment? I don't know. Too late to go back and check now. We'll find out in the edit. And speaking of Mezco... I gotta say, this this year's Comic-Con felt a little bit underwhelming to me. It did. There was nothing that really got the blood pumping. But this Doc Nocturnal, that, <laughs> that got the heart beating a little bit faster. The monster who hunts monsters. The only thing I worry about is that this might have a monster price tag attached to it as well. Because I'd be happy with just the little 1 12th scale Doc Nocturnal figure. That's fine, but I get the feeling this is going to be a big package because on display they've got his frog butler they've got this cryo chamber sleeping thing i don't know the law behind doc nocturnal and also they've got this awesome looking vintage steampunky car for him to drive around in i shudder to think how much they're going to be asking for it i mean we had the void gomez mech suit thing about a year ago and that was geez like 350 bucks if it is then boom that's actually kind of easy because that prices me out i'm like you know what that's cool i'll just enjoy it from afar but if it's a little bit cheaper then you get to the danger zone where you're like ah oh, god maybe i could justify it if i just eat ramen for a couple of months i don't know mezco um <laughs> they're always going to be my weakness we got some more Transformers reveals at Comic-Con. I'm going to read out all the info from the press release because it's just easier because of, you know, Transformers names and codes and sublines and stuff. The Autobots and Decepticons have rolled out at San Diego Comic-Con. Enough with the pre-ramble. All right, we've got... Check out Deluxe Reactive 10 Bumblebee, Voyager 09 Ratchet from War for Cybertron, Core Starscream from Bumblebee, Core Concept Art Frenzy, and Deluxe 114 Megatron from Transformers 1. See, I normally I always try to do things straight to the camera, but come on, Transformers, that's that ain't never gonna happen. I need an auto cue for that. And it did hurt, you maggots! We got a new addition to the Transformers G.I. Joe crossover. I like, I, I love a good mashup. So now we're getting Sergeant Slaughter with Cup, who transforms into a, well, a vehicle for Sergeant Slaughter, obviously. Trying to find some info on the price. I can't see that, but the pre-orders are open now uh, over at Hasbro Pulse. So you can go and check it out and pre-order it there. And that's an order. It's not an order. Uh, that's... A statement. <laughs> I love Sergeant Slaughter. Also available now on Hasbro Pulse is Autobot Agent Knight, aka Kit from Knight Rider. It's like Hasbro went, what's that, Dave? You, you, you like 80s mashups? Oh, <laughs> we got you covered. This is another fun one. Looks kind of cool. Go check it out. That's neither an order nor a statement. Do with that what you will. Toys Fight Club, I think this is the name of the manufacturer, are making a whole bunch of Injustice, not Injustice, uh, Dark Metal figures. Uh, this is a video from MCU Collector, so credit over to MCU Collector. They look, they look pretty pretty. I also saw a Catwoman there as well, and an Arkham Knight, Arkham City Batman. Oh boy. Oh, these could be deadly. It's mainly the dark metal ones I think look really cool. I thought the McFarlane ones were, were good back in the day, but these look like the next step up. A lot of detail, a lot of, a lot of gnarly textures, and oof, yeah. Even looking at this Devastator, man, big, chunky and chunky. I bet that's a heavy figure. 
Yikes. I don't want to think how much these are going to cost, but believe me, when we get more information, I'll be keeping you informed. McFarlane have given a sneaky peek of their animated Batman Beyond. The comic book version they did several years ago now. It's actually one of my favourite McFarlane figures. He's one of the earlier ones, but he's really great. And this more... animated? <laughs> Dave was looking for another word that wasn't animated, but there you go. It looks pretty. Obviously, we're going to get some full reveals later. In the meantime, though, it's just a little sneak peek to wet your whistle. Is that an expression Americans use? Wet your whistle? It's very common in England, in case you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about. Going up for pre-order today, exclusively at Best Buy, McFarlane also have this Dark Knight Returns 3-pack. Hyper-stylized, animated-looking figures. It's kind of fun. I dig it. Not much else to add. If you like it, go get it. Harouken! Ken, literally, white costume Ken. Boy, we knew, we knew Jada. We're gonna start milking their Street Fighter figures and why the heck not, to be honest? They ain't hurting nobody. You don't need to buy these extra ones unless you really want to. So they're putting out a white costume Ken. He does have some slightly different accessories as well, but nothing that would make you see that and go, ah oh, man, now I have to buy this one again. It's definitely for the completionists out there, and I love that about Jada. They revealed, while, while we're on the subject, they revealed all the other figures at Comic-Con for their Street Fighter line. It's beautiful. We've got Ultra Street Fighter 2 100% completed. We finally got to see E-Honda, uh, Zangief, T-Hawk. Oh my giddy lord, that made me so happy. Only problem now is just waiting for them to hit our shelves, because the release, the rollout, seems to be kind of slow. We're only on two waves at the moment, but we know that they're coming. And that's the good news, because honestly, I'm, I'm just waiting to see a new Challenger approaches, because I'm ready to start filling up these shelves, because, dang it, everything I see looks real pretty. Revoltech are getting into the Street Fighter game with Street Fighter 6. They had a whole bunch of prototypes on the show at Wonderfest. I, I know that it's Wonderfest because I referred to it as Wonderfest and I was talking to a friend of the show, Ace from Ramen Toys. He asked if I wanted to go with him and I was like, ah, I'd love to, but what? And also, it costs, it costs a lot to go from Osaka to Tokyo. So I was like, brother, have a good time. And one of the things that he picked up on was that they're doing the whole HP six figures. These could be pretty cool. Obviously, these are very, very early prototypes and whatnot, but just kind of the old eyeball him initially. These look great. I'm going to be very excited to see more images from these. Especially uh, black and white and purple lady. I forget her name. The the the, the feet guys Bro, love her. I think the design looks cool. Wouldn't mind adding her to the show. Chin Lee as well, but I think about it. Man. Yeah, they, they all look great. Figma are going to go all in with their Legend of Zelda figures. Tears of the Kingdom style Ganondorf this time. He looks impressive. He really does. Another big, chunky, chonky boy. Their Link, I was about to say Zelda, uh, 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 their Link figure looks stunningly beautiful. I've, I've, oh, I've been tempted to pull the trigger on that, but he is very expensive. Ganondorf isn't crazy. He's listed as being $84.99. Not a ludicrous price for a big, chunky figure like this. He looks awful pretty. I dig the kind of art style they've gone for that they had in the game, obviously. They've just replicated that. But he looks awful pretty. Should be available around about the end of next year. So you've got a little while to wait. Up for pre-order right now is Higher Toys 1 12th scale Ghost in the Shell. $90 looking beautiful. This was one of the first animes that I ever saw. I kind of wouldn't mind having this figure just to celebrate that little milestone. Oh boy! Was my eyes open to the whole world of Japanese animation. <laughs> Disney was a long way off by that point. Then I discovered Street Fighter 2, Akira, and off to the races we ran. But this was the one that started it all. I think that might be the case for a lot of people. So to have it immortalized in action figure form? That's a bit of a tempting prospect. Furious Rajang, I think that's how you pronounce it, from Monster Hunter, is up for pre-order tomorrow from SH Monster Arts. I don't know the price. I'm guessing about 100 bucks, give or take. Maybe more, because he does look like a big boy. I've never played Monster Hunter. I love the idea of it, but unfortunately, too many numbers and statistics for this guy's ADHD addled brain. Can't focus on that kind of stuff. I'm more of a button masher, if we're being honest. But as a monster, this looks gorgeous. So if you're a Monster Hunter fan, then maybe you might want to put this boy on your shelf. Fury Toys, the purveyors of all things awesome and animally and beastie, just showed an image of this new... 
cat that is ready for battle, but in no means a battle cat. But you know what we're doing. I love tribute figures. There's just something really cool about that. I love it when Mythic Legions do it. Fury toys are getting in on the act as well. I dig it the most. So it's just one image, but man, a 1 12th scale cat of battle? Yeah. That looks really cool. Already I'm spitballing a thousand different figures that you could pose riding this guy and each one looks more badass than the next. I look forward to seeing more pictures from this. Higher Toys are doing another addition to the, the Walking Dead line and this is 1 12th because often they do the 1 18th. So you've got the Lord Scale, 1 12th Negan. Jeffrey Dean Morgan looking like a badass. Every time I see that dude on my screen I'm like, Yes, you're always the coolest dude in the room. And this figure, it looks pretty awesome. It's going to be about $89.99, $90, and going to be available the first quarter of 2025. So, yeah, I gave up on Walking Dead a long, long time ago, but it's still out there, it's still happening, and Negan's still a big fan favorite, so I think this will probably sell quite well. From Mad Hands, a little bit of anime cheesecake for you. We're getting Rapunzel. This is not like any Rapunzel I've ever seen. That's for darn sure. This little lady's going to be going for 60,000 yen? I thought that was like Hong Kong dollars or something. No, no, no. 60,000 yen. That's uh, about 300 bucks. Is she at least like 1 12th or something? She's got to be she's got to be 1 12th scale for that price. I mean, I mean there's a lot of plastic involved there. She's she she's got big hair being Rapunzel. So, I guess a lot goes into that. I can't see a scale, but I mean just everything. I'm thinking it's like it it must be 1 6th. For 300 bucks? Yeah, that's a that's a, that's, a, that's a lot of cheddar, but still, you get a fun looking action figure for it. In Art Collectibles put in a good showing at Comic-Con as well. They showed off a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to share the pictures here because honestly, I'm not too sure about some of the names. And some of them listed were just additional action figures. But it's the monstrous stuff, the 112th monstrous stuff that I think looks super, super cool. I highlighted the, the dragon looking dude a few weeks ago, but this crazy guy on horseback, the, the monstrous looking lady not wearing much of much. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm real impressed with these. I imagine that websites like 5k toys, Gundamit, those ones will probably be stocking these, but I'm definitely going to keep a closer eye out for more reveal information because some of this for your mythical fantasy type creatures, yeah, it's, a, it's the stuff of nightmares, but pretty awesome looking nightmares. You know me, I love a cool statue, and this definitely qualifies as that. World War, no, not World War Hulk, Planet Hulk getting the full statue treatment from PCS Studios. This this is the company that just makes the, the, the dream projects, and this looks gorgeous. They've done a few others of this style where it's the big bust that's then being supported by the smaller characters. I love their Maximum Carnage one. This one feels very similar with all of Hulk's, what are they called, the Warbound? All of his alien buddies underneath there holding it up. I don't know if there's a price. I just wanted to show it to you just because it's a fun, cool looking thing. Uh, platinum exclusive, blah, blah, blah. Chance to win, platinum coin, ruby ticket. No, I can't see an actual price, but you know what? Just, just look at the pretty pictures, all right? I won't sully this with price taggery. You just got to take a look at it and go, yep, golly, that does look pretty. Over in Cosplay Corner, this is a fun little crossover. I want to feature Jade Cargill from WWE. They have just completed a tour of my hometown. They were here in Osaka. It was really weird seeing all these photos from the WWE guys, like, just hanging around, <laughs> like, Den Den Town, where, where I go toy hunting. I was like, ah, oh, man, I'm surprised I missed you guys. Nonetheless, though, Jade, who herself looks like a real-life superhero, came out as the buff girl from My Hero Academia. I'm sorry I forget her name, but I ain't gonna forget this cosplay, because she looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, more more like this, please, because Jade is big into uh, cosplay for different wrestling entrances. I remember she did She-Hulk uh, a long time ago, and yeah, she needs to lean into this, because anytime you put a superhero costume on her, it just looks like a natural fit. And folks, that does it for model behavior for today. Thank you so much for watching. What did you think about the items covered? Comment below. Let me know. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more, then you know what you got to do. You got to join the 6-1 Clicks by clicking the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you want to go one step beyond, become a part of the Model Behavior community, then you can do that too by getting yourself a channel membership. By doing that, you become a part 
the model behavior underground. What does that mean? It's actually not as creepy as I just made it sound there. It, it just means that I do these extra live streams and you can be a part of those and you can have your say and your comments and we do a whole... We do a whole community thing here. Yeah, it ain't it ain't it ain't just me. It takes what's the expression? It it takes it takes a community to raise a YouTube channel. And that's what we're doing. So guys who are in the model behavior underground, guys, thank you so much for your support. Genuinely, it means the world. I was talking to Anita today about what next year is gonna look like, and it's a scary prospect, because if I'm moving to New York, then I'm 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 gonna be a an out of work 40-year-old actor in New York, and that's that, that, that's whew, it's gonna make me lose even more hair than I am. So your membership and patronage is very much appreciated. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to start selling some action figures. No, I'm definitely gonna have to do that just because we got too many action figures. <laughs> but until that doomsday scenario happens, I'm gonna keep on making these videos. So gang, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, keep displaying moral behavior. <laughs>